welcome back to Silver and Forest for episode 16, I think this is. So yeah, we are up to on pretty much straight from last episode. So overnight, we've got another 4,650 litres of wool. So with that, what we're going to do is wait for the train to go past and just dump this off. Well, yep, so first thing that we need to do today is. That's a bit noisy, that is. So we want you to store. Store, store, distribute, yes. So, yeah, first of all, we need to make a few quick bucks. Still got the contracts from last episode that we will do some point in this episode, but I'm not too sure when. Oh, yeah, we have got the production activated, so. Be careless. On. Make a quick bug, just emptying some pan spaces. But yeah, what we need to do today is get working on the sawmill because that is run out of timber. So we need to do a little trip up there. There is a great demand for wood chips, so we may sell some. But first of all, I am looking for prices. So yeah, wood chips, £723 per thousand years at the fire station. <coughs> so I'm looking for furniture. I mean, ain't furniture should be up here. Yeah, there we go. Silver, yeah, it's basically silver market, so just around the corner from here. And for bread, best place to sell that is at Sideside Cafe. So you know what? We'll go and do that first of all. Actually, whilst we're there, let's, go, let's grab some pepper grinders and bowls and see. Yeah, let's do a little self session. Get the money, get the account back into hopefully six digits. Yeah, feels pretty empty that he can't be so low. So we'll go and. Nope, not that one. We want our brand new one. Get it over, get it loaded up, and then we'll quickly go and get those sold. There we go. Our last pallet of the flower that we left there from ages ago to us, so we shut on. We activate the auto function, please. And see Sunny Shine not Sunny Shine. <laughs> sunny Side Cafe. Damn transit van, scale the way, come on! There we go. Just left some beauty marks on the paintwork, that's all. So that is 337. So, yep, yeah, first it's grand, you know, bit, ch bit changed there. That's always needed. And as well, it clears pallet space for spawn more pallets. So I don't have to deal with pallet issues and that. So, oh yeah, there's our harvester over there. There we go. Go and sell you. So that is a nice 20 grand. And actually, you know what? Well, I'm going to sell this. We will, leave. we will have a look at. Yeah. Buying it. So we need 420 grand. I think we can easily get that in this episode. 
So 248, I mean 470, so we need, let's say 225 grand we need. Well, actually probably a bit more than that, because I think the rot now is going to be a bit, a bit expensive to lease. So 24 grand initially, 4700 per workday and 10 grand per hour. So, pretty expensive. Especially in the short run. And what I'm going to do is save the game in case the game crashes. It shouldn't do because I think the only thing I changed between the first bit of recording and the last bit of recording in the last episode was update the. Oh, what was it? The large pallet thing. Obviously, with the disable pallet mods I got installed, it doesn't have an effect in that. So, why I had that mod enabled, not too sure. But yeah, so we'll start clearing the forest out over here, start clearing some of these trees off, and especially with the yard, we'll get moved more somewhere up the hill, and start properly utilising it, so yeah. So we'll get you, go over there. So where's that to? Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to do that, wasn't I? Yeah. Why is the rot not sure? Oh. Why are you having issues? Yeah, I don't know why, sometimes it has weird issues, these machines. So sometimes they work fine, other times they... I know they, they tend to have issues with the bridge and that, and some of the roadways, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Actually, funny enough, this is the very vehicle we want. We want our brand new American style lorry. And uh, yeah, that's going nowhere. Lovely. Oh, lovely jubbly. Can we send you up? Yeah, I don't want you to do field work. I know you can do field work with the attachments on the back. But I don't want you to do field works. Hopefully it should just go. I know this it probably say this is blocked and that. I know it's going. Yep, it's on its way. So yeah, let's go and get all this equipment to a sawmill and start. Perhaps I should be working that or working that rephrasing that. That sounds a bit bit iffy to the untrained ears. Or the train but in the era, shall we freeze up? So we've dropped the planter off just around the corner. We've got the little yarder on the back of here in case we do need it. Got a tray over there ready if we want to do a little self timber. But yeah, most of these logs will go straight in, hopefully, into the pond. All the inquirers hooking up this to the yarder. And I cut some logs, yeah, 
been a little bit busy sort of calling a few logs down and I just realised these logs are blocking where we want to go. Come on. Fold you up. Because yeah, where I want this, so if we go here, find somewhere along this line, we turn around, and we will go straight parallel down, just to the right of here, so hopefully it can connect to some of these trees. If not, poop. Essentially, <laughs> indeed. But we'll give it a try, we'll give it a good little go. Obviously, we've got to be careful of the distance as well. So I'm thinking somewhere here, perhaps? I know it's a. I know it's just going to get in the way. It connects to some trees that I'm not able to cut down. That's just going to be a problem for when we get to it. At the end of the day. So I may have to do this off camera depending on how cooperative this is want to be. Yes, I know the trees are small. Don't press L3, even though I'm using L3 to move forward. I am really hoping it doesn't say, oh sorry, we're at the limit. Yes, I know materials are missing. So far so good. Come on baby. Hook up. Nope. Hook up. Dang it. Come on, hook up to this. Tree is too small, bug off. How did we hook this up last time? Man. Yay! Man, that is... I wish it tells you <coughs> the distance, but we've got to be at the limit of the distance. So we've gone further back, but I didn't want to set, go back too far, you know. But then again, actually... So give this a try, sec, so... Enable the follow me function. You're a useless tree, so let's cut you down. Taking some time. Sort of a test, you know, some nice small trees. Or will it be able to stretch out? Oh, I don't think it will. Unless I cut it, falls to the left. I can just grab it, hopefully. Yes, baby. It should hook onto this. Down to lift it. Yeah, so L1 down to lift it. Ignore where it's going. <laughs> yeah, perhaps I should have felt that. Yeah. <laughs> you get snapping some of these. I suppose you've got to be careful as well, it's obviously snapping it, so. Try that again. No, 
bombs go the other way. Oh, it keeps on snapping. Let's try to break this up. Perhaps that's what it's causing it. Let's do that. Let's cut this up a little bit. Cut you down. So that we got our first fourteen hundred years of timber. So yeah, let's go and continue on this. Perhaps do a little short time lapse. Depend <coughs> depend on how it works in the time lapse format. So yeah, I'm gonna get this done and see you folks in a moment. Pending all this going well. very useful. Yeah, perhaps not as quick as like chopping down those into lorry and that, but we do save on the hassle of transporting, so in the time lapse we done about 60 to 65, well let's say 62-ish thousand litres of wood for the yarder. The rest has just been bits of wood we've chopped down, picked up and taken over. So we'll get this filled to the max. Also, we have some odd bits of trees. I thought, ooh, let's make some wood chips and distribute that to. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Where is it all? Our biomass plant. And of course, we'll keep on feeding it with some wood chips as well. And actually, speaking of, like, thinking about making money in that, we'll sell a lot of these pieces of wood on the train to Elm Creek because I've never done that before on this series so we'll go ahead and do that <coughs> but first of all I am just going to set to sell whatever we don't need in terms of for productions or well for the road coaster shall I just rephrase that we'll just go ahead and sell straight sell sell yes I know basically 
when you set these to sell it takes the average price and then obviously distributes it based on that and then obviously takes, we get about 8% or something like that so yes perhaps it's not the most ideal things to do but yeah I think we've got enough barrels and that so we'll go do that yeah I think a lot of these will set to sell for the time being the chairs and that four tops will keep from the half yeah keep from now because I think we could actually do with that okay there's a train just going past there so I should just skip ahead of time a bit and see how much rough money we'll make 224 244 oh and there's a great demand at Royal Farm South wood chips yeah but still the fire department requires to lose wood chips more or at least are going to offer a better price for us but yeah obviously long term oh, oh. So, hmm. yeah, obviously, to actually maximize our profits, that is best to do it ourselves, but nothing like that <coughs> could be done on the side, so I'm not too worried about that. But I think with the rest of these logs, we will get them onto the train. Rent said, rent said train. Two kilometers away because it's just at the bottom of it. Yeah, yeah, got some beams, got some planks. Beams actually will keep because we need that for definitely for the boatyard. So we'll keep those for now. And in terms with the uh, uh, was it logging trader? Yes, we could transport things onto the train and that, but. Remember, with these big back handlers, we do have an issue sometimes with said big back handler. Yeah, just with it catching on the trader and all that. It's a hassle, I won't purvey off random stuff that we can't remove. So, yeah, I think the best thing to do is just transport these manually over to the said train. So these are 12 meter lengths, it should just be about fine, I think. Emphasize on the wood, should be fine. Not will be fine, should be fine. Should have, would have, could have. Oh, that's too much. Still too much. Just enough. Early. Come on. Come on. Oh, play out the seat. I think Mexican jumping beans go for logs. Pack it in, boys. Come on. Just from the kit. Decent amount, that's it. Because hopefully, you don't have too many train. Actually, one issue which we will have, actually, I think, is getting it over. Oops. Yeah, because. Oh, a bit sketchy. Oh, bait flop. So we could load it over there, or well, actually, yeah, could do potentially, possibly. Come on, we'll get her eventually. Oops. Darn it, come on. That's it. Don't tip over too much, please. Train is. Oh, train's here. But yeah, this should. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can see this game so wrong for us. Yeah, 12 meters is enough. However, not all my dogs are perfectly aligned. That's the problem we're gonna have with this. Come on, you know what? 
people bung it in. That's it. Pass it out. It is perfectly balanced, really. But, but yeah, see, 12 meters is like just enough, it's the ideal length. I'm sorry, Harpo, you could be waiting there for fair. Actually, because ca cars are there, I will turn traffic off temporarily. But yeah, so rather than do a, another little time lapse, because I can see me making so many mistakes with this. We're just going to do a little cheeky jump cut. I'm going to get all the timber we've got those up. And then I'll bring things back before we put the planks and prefabricated walls onto said train. So there we go. We've got all the timber loaded up. One log is a bit glitchy, so I am worried about that when it comes to sending it. Because you know like the issues we've had with the paddits of some not selling. I'm worried about some the one or two logs out's a bit jumpy, or something that's blown the entire train car around. Cause a massive derailment, but hopefully not, so but yeah, we'll get that of these prefabricated walls on. Got all the planks on, got our beams set up onto a little train over there. So yes, first of all, let's go and sell these. Should make a fair bit of change. 32,000 years of planks and 3,000 years of prefab walls and X amount of timber. Perhaps the best way to load timber onto those trailers is using the Volvo, like the massive Volvo wheeler with the massive log grab thing, but... <laughs> Have we lost anything? 137 grand. Ah, you We've lost prefabricated walls. One. Yep, knew that's gonna happen. That's 405 grand for the Rotten Harvester. Like I did say by the end of the day. We would be able to. So let's go and get that last bit of prefab all done. I think we'll we'll sell a container's worth of logs just because it's slightly more valuable. And we'll keep the run for now. We may go over to one hour, but whatever we go over by, it'll be definitely worth it. So. And actually is how's our sheep doing? We still got that bell we've given them. That's good. Perhaps we can start selling some of those wood chips, perhaps and yeah. what else? What was I looking at? Ah, I was at the grass field, so go to our grass fields. Actually best thing to do is set grass growing. So yeah, they're both going to be ready tomorrow. What about furrows of seat? That's fully fertilised. That needs to be fertilised, that's good. So yeah, we'll go and do that. After we deal with this annoying little prefabricated wall. Boom. There we go. Cool out then, because you see the four hours worth of money we're going to get. Not, not a lot. You know what? That is fine. That's all hunky dory fine for us. And as I did say, we were going to plant 
we found the forest today. I think we'll do that towards the... Should we do it now or should we do it in the episode or in the next episode? I really want to get that boat yard, just get those couple bits of material over. Actually, what? Yeah, we'll do that bit in the next episode. Let's go and replant the forest. Or replant some trees over here. So, lucky enough, we didn't actually need that yard there. Ooh. Ooh, sorry about that. You on there? <coughs> uh, a couple of. Uh, yeah, that's, these were the trees that we were going to pick up, but didn't, so... Scoop you over. A couple hundred years, so yeah, it's 4,500 years of timber we've got. That's going to be good enough for a couple of months easily, so... Not too worried about that. But yes, we're planting this to be quite dense, like planting around here, planting around this area here, and this area. Actually, do we want to? Yeah. We'll plant over here. Not on this grass. I won't do so much over here. Well, actually, we could do a few trees around here, just help fill up the place a bit. Depends on how much. Actually, well, don't think we actually will go for the full amount of trees here. So, and a couple of trees. Actually, what what trees are these? I think these are the Ponderosa Pines, if I am remembering correctly. I see that's what I want. Just like three trees over there. And I'll just try to do it in the way so it doesn't interfere with the roads. Well, that's actually quite. Well, see, yeah, that's quite close to the road itself. Reduce our speed slightly. We're not its distance or just timing it in the ground, not too sure. What plant? Nope. I'm just going to continue on this in this nice little loop. Again, I'm not too worried about being super dense or anything. It's just casually going around, dotting some trees. You know, like so. But yeah, I will continue on this. It shouldn't take us too long again. I'll see you when we're done. I'll meet you. Yeah, I think I'll meet you down. Actually, speaking of money, Ari Renor. Yeah, we'll go get our semi, get the massive trader, and then I think we'll go and collect some Ari Renor, I think.
the mine shaft. I'm gonna collect some iron ore. Whether or not our iron furnace needs metal, I don't know. We'll find out. There we go, that is zoned up. But yeah, in terms of the wood chips, you got 140 grand for the first load, and I think about 60 odd or so for the second. And also, we did find a collectible, we did find it when we assumed some the woodwork earlier on, but I thought we'd show it on camera, either in time lapse or just in normal. Turn out, time lapse is best. There we go, get that last bit up. That is 96,000 here, so yeah, that was pretty much full. Does the iron furnace need a more metal? Not for the time being, so you know what? I'm just going to leave it at that for now. We'll do a jump cut over to the Sort of towards by the road coaster, by the sell everything container, because you've seen me doing time lapses on this before, you've seen me doing this on camera. So, yeah, we're just going to skip a little ahead and we'll sell this at the sell everything container. Because Schultz needs some iron ore. For whatever reason, I don't know, but it's not my business of judging our customers. And here we are out of containers, and we got one half grand for doing the Deadwood contract. We lost two grand because I stupidly actually cut a old tree down. Even though I aimed for the Deadwood, because obviously I got the long chainsaw mod, it went for the tree behind it for some weird reason. Didn't pay attention and lost two grand on that. And we get a bit of change for this, and I think we got about three or two grand. From the bits we're selling at the moment. Add another 22.50. And yeah, this is why I'm not worried about the money because it's so. I'm going to say it's so easy. I'll say it's a lot of work involved because if we have a look at our stats, like recording last bits of last episode and this episode, it's taken us 3 hours and 40 minutes. And so far in this series, 60 episodes in, I've played this for 103 hours. Just one of those things here sometimes. Can we break a million again? Gonna be close. Nah, I don't think we will. Be like 975. 980. 986. But yeah, 295 grand there. Just little things like that. Make money so easily. The boat is complete. Unfortunately, if we was just a bit, I don't think it was a, if we're a bit quicker, but it's what it is. 23 hours to launch. So that's, that's going to be another 300 coming in tomorrow, just like that. Next episode, boat yacht number two is going to set off. We'll buy a new tree harvester and we'll get all the supplies to the road coaster that is required. But yeah, I am looking forward to that. Things are just coming along so well in this series. And we've barely scratched the surface of arable farming yet, so... Plenty of life in this series to go. I am planning on doing a... Sort of a British map series, not Comson Farm. I wish I ended that series a bit more proper, but... Eh, nah, nah, I won't. There's an another good map. I want to play on Aston Park by GB Modding. I should do need it still. No, I don't think we could put this away. But yeah, played on 19, did a nice series on that. It was. Yeah, I think that was one of my more favourite series, and I think I was going to end that series properly. I think it was. Gonna do like the last episode or two before FS22 came out, but then just timings and that. And it just didn't make sense for me to go back to it after FS22 came out. 
Saying that Mississippi, I think, went for it, but... Yeah, it's just one of those things, it is what it is. And to sort of aim on that series... I'm not sure, I'll, I'll wait on that, I'll do, maybe do a little video, sort of explain a bit more, because I've got a bit of a video about why 22 has been, like, obviously it's been my worst year of YouTube in that. Even though we made some very good accomplishments in this year, in this year with the YouTube Partner Program, monetization and all that. But yeah, that's going to be for those videos that will come out between now and New Year's Eve. So, this is coming out uh, Thursday. Yeah, just record, yeah, Thursday. So, Friday, Saturday, those two videos should be out. So, I'll do those perhaps sometime today on Thursday. No, yeah, Thursday, yeah. So, this episode will come out Friday, I think. Yeah. This will episode will come out Friday. And these two videos will come out perhaps over the weekend at some point. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're having a nice day. But for now, it's me far from Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.